Hi, Assalamu alaikum. With me again, Teacher Rin. In this video, we will learn Mathematics Form 3, Chapter 7, Plan and Elevations, 7.1, Orthogonal Projection, Learning Standard 7.1.1, Draw Orthogonal Projection. You have studied a jet in two and three dimension before, right? Each of these object consists of flat surfaces and curved surfaces or both. Here you can see a cylinder, a cone and a sphere. I hope you can determine how many flat surface and curved surface each of them have. For example here. Cylinder has two flat surfaces and one curved surface, while cone have one curved surface and one flat surface. And you can see here, sphere have only one curved surface but no flat surface. Why it is important for you to remember all this term? You must understand the meaning of this term in order to learn this topic in form 3. So, I want to share with you this diagram. The diagram here shows a quarter of a right cylinder with a horizontal base PQRS and both PSTU and PQRS are planes and QRTU is a curved surface. What is actually a plane? Yes, a plane is the flat surface on an object. Make sure that you understand what is the meaning of plane. It is mean that flat surface on an object. There are three types of planes, namely vertical plane, horizontal plane, and inclined plane. What is actually vertical plane? Here you can see vertical plane for this object is A, B, F, and C, D, E. While, while horizontal plane for this object is A, B, C, D. How about inclined plane? Okay, for this subject, the inclined plane is B, C, E, F and A, D, E, F. Here, I want to introduce to you one new term that you need to know in this chapter, which is normal to a plane. What is actually a normal to a plane? The line F, N and E N are perpendicular to the line A B and D C. The line F M and E N are also known as the normal to the plane. What is the plane we refer to? The plane that we refer to is A B C D. Here, I hope that you can understand what is the meaning of normal to a plane. A normal to a plane is a straight line that is perpendicular or that form a right angle to any line on the plane. Let us see some example. In this question, we will see what is a normal to four planes in this object. The first plane that we will see here is PQRS. Where is PQRS? Okay, here. This is PQRS. Try to figure out which line is uh, giving you 90 degree from the plane. So I will show you with red arrow here. Okay, all those arrow shows that the line is 90 degree from the plane PQRS. Is it correct? So, 
we know that that lines that four lines is the normal to the plane pqrs how can we state the normal to the plane so the answer is up ts wr and vq the order of the letter to specify a normal is very important ts means the line TS is perpendicular to the plane PQRS at point S. So make sure you write it correctly. If you put ST means T is on the plane. So for this case, you can see that for TS, S is on the plane, right? So that is the correct way to write normal for a plane. Okay, let us see second plane. Okay, the second plane that we want to refer is PSTU. Okay, the plane is a vertical plane. So, let us see where is the normal. Okay, I highlighted there for you with a red arrow to show that the line is making 90 degree from the plane. So easily you can say that the normal to the plane PSTU is QP, RS, WT and VU. Okay, let, let us move on further for the next plane which is RSTW. Where is the plane? Yes, the plane that is vertically in front of you, right? Okay, for this plane, this is the line that will make 90 degree from the plane. So, all this line, we can name it as the normal to the plane. So, the answer is QR PS U, T, N, V, W. Now, we look at one more plane that is a little bit uh, confusing for those who cannot, um, who cannot imagine the 3D shape. So, the next plane is the plane that is placed inside the cube, which is Q, R, T, U. For this plane, the normal to the plane is S, W, and PV. Can you imagine how to determine the normal? So to help you understand it, I prepare to you a video, a short video showing how the cube is moving, okay, to make sure that you can see the plane inside the object. Okay, so that is the plane that I uh, that we have just uh, discussed before so here can you see here this is the normal to the plane 90 degree to the plane i hope that you can understand that how to determine the normal to the plane for this uh, object all right so we move on now okay what is actually the orthogonal projection of an object okay Orthogonal projections are images formed on a plane when the projected line from an object is perpendicular to the plane. Okay, let's see this object. For example, PQ. When we project the object, okay, we can see here, all right, when the projected line uh, from an object is perpendicular to the plane, okay, like this. So, the orthogonal projection is the red one, which is PR. Okay, this is the orthogonal projection. Okay, how I can imagine this in our real life? Okay, for example, I take a stick, PQ, okay, and then I turn on the toss light and light it up. Okay, uh, exactly perpendicular to the stick. So, where is the 
shadow should be okay the shadow should be down there all right so the shadow is the orthogonal projection for this object pq so the orthogonal projection for pq is pr i hope that you can relate with what we are discussing now okay okay we move on a bit i just move the pq like that and then okay here is the object all right here you can see that they are too normal to the plane because those uh, two lines are perpendicular to the plane. Okay, so for this PQ, SR, okay, the red line is called orthogonal projection. That is basically what is orthogonal projection is. All right, okay, we move further okay, to see a two-dimensional shape which is projected to a plane okay for example this pqrs you want to project the pqrs to the plane okay so we just um, draw the normal which is 90 degree or perpendicular and then this is the orthogonal projection okay how to state the answer okay normal to the plane is pa qb rc and st okay how about the orthogonal projection yes the orthogonal projection of the plane is a b c d next for e f g h and when we put the plane vertically like this so we need to protect the object okay with normal 90 degree and then draw the orthogonal projection so here normal to the plane is er fs gt and hu how about orthogonal projection yes orthogonal projection on the plane for this object is rstu let's look at this three-dimensional shape okay for this three-dimensional shape normal to the plane for this object is PA, QB, RC, and ST. How about the orthogonal projection? Yes, orthogonal projection is ABCD. Next example, these three dimensional shapes. For this question, you need to state all the vertices that you can see in the object. Okay? So, normal to the plane is AP, IU, LT, FS, ER, and DQ. Alright? And then, the orthogonal projection on the plane is PQRSTU. To state the orthogonal projection, just read the alphabet that can be found on the drawing there. Okay? Alright. Before I ended this video, I want to show to you how to determine whether uh, a drawing is the orthogonal projection for an object when we give the plane. Alright, okay, number one there. Yeah. Here is of course, uh, it is correct. It is an orthogonal projection for the 3D object. How about number two? Okay, the second one is yes, because... Uh, it makes 90 degree from the object or it makes normal to the plane okay number three is not an orthogonal projection because the lines projected from the object to the plane is not a normal what is the normal is not 90 degree from that object okay so all right number four Number four is yes. Okay, it is an orthogonal projection. And number five is not because the same uh, reason that I give to you for number three. So, uh, it does not make a perpendicular or does not, does not show a normal to the plane. All right. So, the final one is yes. It is uh, an orthogonal projection of an object. So, 
that's all for today in this video uh, we will continue after this and the second part where i show to you how to draw an orthogonal projection of an object till we meet again assalamualaikum happy studying Thank <music> you.